Raven Elise TV. Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven, and it is the first week of January. We are in a new year. It's 2018. 2017, like, flew by in three seconds. Like, does anybody else feel like 2017 was literally about six and a half minutes long? Like, I feel like I've seen YouTube videos that were longer than 2017. But it's 2018. There's nothing we can do about it. Time is flying by. I feel like when you get older, time starts going by faster. And I wanted to come and do a recap video, New Year's resolutions type video. This is going to be kind of all in one because I am doing the about a year ago tag. This was a tag created by a YouTuber a few years ago and they tagged me on it and I did it for the first time in 2014, I think. And then I did it in 2015 and then 2016 was a crazy year for me. Okay, so I think I forgot to do it, but I wanted to come back and do it again this year. And I am filming this with just like my vlog camera. As you can see, no fancy setup, no makeup, no nothing. We're just chilling today, filming this raw and real and impromptu. And I have not prepared my um, answers to the questions or anything, but basically it's a tag. It has 12 questions kind of just thinking back on the past year and you know looking forward to the new year so if you want to see previous ones that i've done it can be kind of interesting to see if i reached my goals or not um i will tag the previous years down below you can watch those so the first question is what was your biggest accomplishment in 2017 definitely if i would have done this tag last year then I probably would have said my biggest accomplishment would be having my daughter Zaya, becoming a mom, all that stuff. I feel like it's kind of too late for me to say that now, although that is still like a big accomplishment. I'm still a mom. I'm still taking care of Zaya, you know, full-time working mom. Um, but I don't know if that really counts because it's not my first year doing it anymore. So besides that, of course, I would have to say like career stuff, which I am a full-time YouTuber. So... I've done some cool things when it comes to uh, my social media career in terms of working with major household name brands um, and collaborating with you know other brands, creating my own products and stuff. And I did my big collaboration with Collab, the new makeup line in Sally Beauty that I'm a part of. So that was a really big accomplishment because not only am I kind of partnering with Sally Beauty, which is a major brand, but I'm getting my face and my name in in the stores on the product and every time you go in Sally Beauty nationwide you're gonna see my face and my name so that was a pretty huge deal because that was kind of my first time actually doing something like that on that scale and also with that project it involved a lot of travel so I went to New York like three or four times I think in 2017 and I also like went to Dallas and stuff so that was a pretty big accomplishment number two is what was my best memory of the year again that's another hard question it's hard to just pinpoint one thing um i definitely enjoyed zaya's first birthday party she turned one in april of this year and i threw a genie shimmer and shine kind of themed birthday party for her and although it wasn't perfect there was some things that just didn't turn out perfectly with the party um i still think it was a good party i still think it was a good memory to have and i vlogged it so i can go back and watch that video you guys can watch the video i'll tag it down below and i just think it was like I mean, it was an important moment because it was her first birthday and it was my first time throwing a birthday party for someone else, really. Number three, what was my biggest obstacle of the past year? Um, I struggled a lot this year with my productivity, being productive, getting work done because I had two major things uh, well yeah two major things working against me thing number one was my computer which i just ordered a new computer so hopefully that should be better and just kind of like my technology equipment in general was not on my side this year things kept messing up my editing software kept messing up my computer is just so slow and i just felt like i wasn't getting stuff done i wasn't getting videos done and that was super super annoying but also besides just the the technology 
I am a stay at home or like work at home mom, really work at home mom. So having Zaya here and now she's a toddler, so she's not just a little baby sitting down in her carrier or sleeping in the crib, she's a toddler. She's running around, making noise, getting into things, spilling things. She's not even two yet, but she's already in like that terrible twos type of behavior. So it's like I cannot get work done at home with her so i started having to call on my mom a lot more to be like hey can you come wash her because i i need to get this done can you come pick her up can you wash her can you wash her can you wash her and i was like okay i started feeling like that wasn't i don't know i started feeling bad about it like not that my mom minds she loves keeping zaya but i guess i kind of mind in a sense because you know i don't want to feel like i'm constantly working and not having time for my child although i am lucky and i i get to spend a way more time with zaya than like most moms probably do especially working moms um but yeah that was just a struggle for me because it was like i couldn't get anything done and then i also felt bad for not spending time with zaya and i just couldn't like i just couldn't get a hold of it i couldn't get a grasp on how to properly balance it we're starting off 2018 and that's like my big goal is to figure that out but i haven't really figured it out yet the thing is zaya did start preschool today she started preschool and she's going to be starting to go part-time so three days a week for half of the day so that's definitely going to make a big difference with all of that but just being a working working single stay-at-home mom of a toddler and you're trying to do stuff like film videos and edit videos where you need like quiet time. It was just, ugh. it was hard y'all, it was hard. Number four, what are my top five beauty products of the past year? Um, I'm kind of lame when it comes to makeup. I feel like I don't really try a lot of new things. Uh, definitely Fenty Beauty came out this year and I've been loving all the Fenty Beauty stuff, especially the foundation. Um, and I, I got her Galaxy palette and I got, um, I just got her Stunna lip paint and the new Mademoiselle lipsticks. Um, oh, and the highlighters. How can I forget the highlighters? Yes, the highlighters. So basically like all Fenty Beauty products, definitely from this year. And then of course I have to say my collab makeup from my collab with the collab in Sally Beauty that I was just talking about. Um, we came out with a lot of great products. So I'm not gonna pick like five actual products but definitely Fenty Beauty and collab makeup in Sally Beauty. Number five is to insert some bloopers from the past year. And I have way too many bloopers, y'all. We just, we just gonna skip that one. Number six, favorite mainstream YouTubers and non-mainstream YouTubers. Uh, again, I feel like I really have not discovered new people this year. I feel like I haven't had time to like, just sit back and watch youtube a lot this year and when i do i just watch like one or two videos of my top favorite people the videos that i can't miss which are good mythical morning uh, if you guys don't know by now i talk about it all the time good mythical morning is my favorite youtube channel i think i said this the last time i did this tag but i'll link them down below they completely revamped their channel this fall so um, they've got a lot of cool content to check out and they're the main people that I watch other than that I watch my friends like my friends who have YouTube channels like Vicky Logan and uh, Symphony Soto and Alyssa Ashley and like different people like that that I actually like talk to online and interact with of course I always try to support their content and watch their channels number seven my regrets from the past year. I posted a big thing on Instagram actually, just the other day, that basically my biggest regret is like wasting my time and doing pointless stuff and just not, not having a purpose with half the stuff that I'm doing or stuff that I'm thinking or people that I associate with. It's like, you know how you have people in your life that are just kind of like acquaintances and you feel like, you feel like you have to follow them because you went to school together and they're probably gonna notice if you unfollow them but you don't really like any of the stuff that they post and they're kind of just there because they're there and you feel like you, you shouldn't or you can't get rid of them like i feel like i had a lot of people like that in my life like especially from you know no shade i'm not gonna name any names but i feel like there was people from 
my high school and from my college that like we're we're not friends we were never friends y'all did not talk to me at school we were not cool we follow each other just because we went to the same school and a lot of times it's people like that that all of a sudden now they want to hit you up and ask for a favor or oh they're starting a business so they need you to do x y and z or oh they want to use your you know they never really were cool with you but now all of a sudden they want to hit you up and i just felt like i needed to erase those people because they serve no purpose in my life it's like why do i feel obligated to talk to those people or keep those people in my life i shouldn't feel obligated it's just a waste of my time if they serve no purpose don't do it like you you're not obligated to anyone or anything um but then also it's the way that i spent my time i feel like i wasted a lot of time this past year um like literally just wasting time messing with a computer that i knew was old that i knew had problems but i was being stubborn about buying a new one and i wasted so much time like just trying to get that computer to work when i could have just said okay f it buy a new computer and save myself the hassle or you know i have moments when i'm feeling lazy or i'm feeling depressed or something and i'll waste the whole day just really not doing anything like watching netflix or something like that and that's just time waste like what was the purpose of that it didn't help me feel better it didn't cure my depression it didn't do anything it was just a waste of a whole day and um it's just little things like that if you stop and think about how much time and energy you actually waste when you do little things like that it adds up and it's like think about what you could accomplish in that time if you actually use that time wisely use that energy wisely associate with people who are actually going to bring something to your life don't just associate with random people who serve no purpose in your life don't feel obligated to talk to random people or even if they're not random people they could even be like i said people from your school people you used to be friends with or even family members sometimes okay let me clear off my um who i'm following online and really only follow people who inspire me and who mean something to me and people that I associate with you need to be inspiring me you need to be bringing positivity into my life you need to be supporting me I need to, it needs to be a back-and-forth relationship if it's not then why, why why am I doing it so that that's my biggest regret is just like wasting my time on people and things and I need to be better about like realizing when stuff is pointless realizing when what you're doing has no purpose it's not going to do nothing for your life and stop and fix it and do something that does have a point do something that does have a purpose do something that is going to make your life better in some way number eight is most memorable phrases from the year are there any new phrases of this year i know in past years i said it's lit i think i said shambles last time um i don't think i came up with any new catchphrases of my own this year did i i don't think i did i can't remember it's hard to think off the top of my head and i don't even know like what was trending in terms of lingo this year i can't i can't think of anything number 10 is lessons learned from 2017 um, which I basically just explained with, you know, wasting time, pointless people, pointless relationships, pointless behavior, doing stuff that serves no purpose, not being productive. I definitely learned that lesson because looking back on it, I'm like, I did not accomplish everything that I could have accomplished. And, you know, that's a lesson learned going into this year. Oh, I skipped one. I just did number 10. But number nine is most embarrassing moment of 2017. And I actually do have an embarrass. I mean, I embarrass myself all the time. I'm very clumsy. I'm very, like, just not a smooth, slick person. Um, but I did have one really embarrassing moment that's kind of like, it's sad. Like, it made me sad when it happened. Honestly, it's not that funny to me. But i was at the grocery store earlier this earlier last year whatever and i it was just me and zaya you know as usual always just me and zaya and um i was wearing like a dress like a short dress and i was getting a shopping cart so in the front of the store before you go in the store i was getting a shopping cart and you know putting zaya in the little baby part or whatever and so right when i was getting the shopping cart i hear someone behind me call my name 
and I was like, my first instinct was, oh, it might be like a subscriber, because it kind of was that type of thing where they were like, Raven? Like, that. whenever I meet a subscriber out like at the mall or something, they'll be like, are you Raven? And you know, that type of thing. So it kind of caught me off guard because I was looking so crusty, y'all. I mean, ashy, hair all over the place, no makeup, skin was doing bad, pizza face, like just, looking bad and struggling too because I was trying to carry my purse, I was trying to carry my grocery bags, and I was trying to carry Zaya and get a shopping cart and put Zaya in the shopping cart to go into the store. So instantly when I heard somebody call my name from behind me, I was like, no, please, like this is not the time for me to meet a subscriber or, or anyone, I don't care who it is, this is not the time for me to be facing anyone. So it kind of like caught me off guard and it startled me, I guess, and then I was like halfway through putting Zaya in the cart and her foot got stuck. Like, you know, my grocery bags, my purse is all tangled up and Zaya's foot got stuck and she wasn't like, she started crying because I like halfway, like I didn't drop her, but it was like just this horrible chain of events where I was just like dropping everything and being so clumsy. It looked like I'm about to drop my own child out of the shopping cart. And this is right as I'm, I'm doing all that and I'm turning around to see who's calling my name. And the person who it was was an old friend from high school that I have not seen since high school graduation. And she was with her boyfriend. And they were looking at me like, what? Like, what? Like, what do I do? Like, they were in shock because they just see this stumbling mom, like, dropping her baby and dropping all her stuff. And I think the most embarrassing thing out of everything was that in all the tangled commotion, my dress got completely pulled up in the back, y'all. Whole underwear, whole booty was out. I don't know how much they saw, I felt like they saw everything because her boyfriend was standing right behind me. So I feel like he saw my whole underwear, dropping the baby, purses tangled, and it's like an old friend that I haven't seen since high school. And I'm like, really? This is how you're gonna see me? You haven't seen me since high school? You're wondering what I'm up to? You're trying to be friendly and say hi, and I'm like, my whole life right now is in shambles, dresses in shambles, bag in shambles, baby in shambles, and Zaya is screaming, crying, and I just, it's like I couldn't even uh, get myself together to like say hi. I was just like, oh, hi, oh, hey, hey girl, oh yeah, okay, yeah. And she was like, she basically said, like she was nice about it. She was like, oh, okay, like are you okay, okay, oh well, you know, it's nice sitting, okay, well, I'll let you go, I'll let you go. And I was just like, oh, cause like I really would have liked to stop and talk to her and catch up, cause like I said, I haven't seen her in years, but I just couldn't, it was like I couldn't even look at her because I was so embarrassed. And it was not just her, there was all these other shoppers around as well who were like looking at me like, what is wrong with you? And I just had to like go in the store and get my grocery shopping done. But like I legit was like tearing up when I went in the store. It's kind of stupid thinking back on it, but like I wanted to cry cause I was so embarrassed. And it wasn't just that like he saw my underwear and all that stuff, but just like, I don't want to be seen that way. You know, you've been wondering what I've been up to since high school and now it looks like I'm just some struggling single mom. You know what I mean? I guess that might be kind of stupid, but to me it just like really was a horrible first impression type of thing. So that was definitely my most embarrassing moment of the year. So number 11 is goals for the new year. Goals, where do I begin? I definitely have a lot of goals. Uh, first thing that comes to mind is I want to release some more of my own merchandise or my own product. Again, I keep talking about this, I feel like, and I don't know exactly what it's going to be yet. Um, I definitely think I'm going to start off with just some more merch type items. Like I sold my shambles shirts, which I have one right here. These shambles shirts with the gold glitter hashtag shambles on it. I had them in black and pink and I sold all of those. Bleh, sold all of those. They are completely sold out now and I'm not planning on restocking stocking those exact shirts. I plan on making new shirts with the new design and stuff. So I probably am gonna start off with just like shirts and hats and you know, typical stuff like that and kind of work my way up to bigger and better things if that makes sense. So that's definitely my goal. I really want to just like be selling my own product, not a collaboration with somebody else, not just like an affiliate code type of thing, but like my own creation. So we'll see like how far I get with it this year, but I definitely want to just like keep leveling up in that sense. 
Um, and another goal is that I do have a certain amount of like a savings goal. I've all, I always save money every single month I put into savings accounts. I have, you know, new savings goal for each year. I want to save this amount of money for this, this amount of money for that, or just in general have a certain amount of money in my savings account. So definitely want to have money saved for Zaya and, you know, be uh, increasing her, you know, college fund type of thing. But also the other big thing I'm saving for now is buying my first real home you guys have seen me move like 29 times in my life i feel like and i've been in apartments and now i am in a town home that i'm renting so this place is awesome you know it's three bedrooms and i have a two car two car garage so it really does feel like a house but technically you know it's still a town home i'm still renting so i do have that goal of actually buying or building or flipping my own home that's really going to be home that's really going to be more permanent and so I'm definitely saving up for that I highly 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 doubt that I will actually be buying that home in 2018 because I just don't think it's the right time but within the next couple years I see myself buying a house so definitely saving up for that and another goal would be actually for once I don't really have youtube goals typically i go into the new year with like i want to reach x amount of subscribers i want to get x amount of views on my videos i want to do you know whatever youtube goals i set for myself this year i'm kind of like i'm kind of chilling on the youtube this year not that i'm gonna quit youtube or i don't care about it or i don't want to do it anymore but just i feel like i'm at a good steady pace right now and i feel like i'm satisfied with what i have and i don't really feel the burning urge to like hit a million subscribers and get this and get that like i don't i used to feel that urge of wanting to i guess kind of compete and get higher numbers and more subscribers but now i just don't really feel like that anymore i feel like you know i'm thankful for what i have i'm content with it and it kind of sounds bad to say like it's good enough because it sounds like you're being lazy but it's not about being lazy it's just like i don't really feel the need to be greedy with it i guess if that makes sense i don't know if that makes sense because i'm not saying that other people are being greedy just because you want a bigger youtube channel and you want to make your youtube channel better it doesn't mean you're being greedy but for me personally I don't feel like I really really need to so for once this year I'm kind of just chilling when it comes to YouTube whatever happens happens I'm still gonna keep doing me still posting my videos keep basically just keep doing what I'm doing and not stressing out about it and not thinking about it too much and just letting letting things happen go with the flow you know naturally other goals would be pertaining to Zaya definitely want to get the potty training down uh, want to stop drinking out of a bottle that's been a big struggle she still drinks out of a bottle every single day. She wants her milk in a bottle. And I feel like it's time for her to completely switch to only cups. She does drink out of cups, but she wants her milk in a bottle every day. So I want to get her off the bottle, get her potty trained, get her completely used to the schedule of going to preschool. Like I said, she just started preschool today. She's only going part time right now, but eventually we will move up to like full time and um, yeah, so just kind of getting in the swing of things with that. Oh, but the last goal is like my personal, my personal physical goals, I guess you could say, like my mommy makeover, which people get like all up in arms when I talk about my mommy makeover because they think that I'm talking about like major surgery because there's like this surgery, like I think it's a tummy tuck and a breast lift and something else like this big surgery and they call it a mommy makeover for like after you've had like multiple pregnancies or whatever and that is not what i'm talking about y'all i'm not getting a tummy tuck or a brazilian butt lift or any of those things i'm really just talking about a lot of smaller improvements to myself like clearing up my skin you guys know i'm on accutane already and i'll be finishing my accutane treatment in a few months and so hopefully i should have clear skin um, and you know, I just want to decide what I want to do with my natural hair. I dyed it dark and I've just been growing it out, but I kind of want to cut all my hair off and do like a blonde pixie cut or something really bold and different like that. Just getting my eyebrows touched up. I have the, the tattoo microblading, but it needs to be touched up. And I'm probably going to get some laser treatments on my skin to help with the scarring and stuff after my skin clears up. And the only big thing is I do want to get a, not I want... 
I'm telling you right now, I am getting a boob job. Not I want to get, I am getting a boob job this year. I basically have it planned for this September. So for my 25th birthday, September 2018, I'm getting a boob job. It's decided. So you could unsubscribe right now if you don't like it. Okay, I don't care. <laughs> I'm getting it. Um, I will do probably, you know, a whole video about that when the time comes. Um, the reason why I'm waiting all the way until September instead of doing it like right now, because I would do it right now, but I can't because of the Accutane medication that I'm on. You're not supposed to get surgery while you're on it and you should wait a little bit for it to get out of your system before you do surgery. So I'm having to wait until later this year, but definitely this year I'm getting it done. So that's the main big thing, but it's just like a bunch of other small things um like my skin and stuff that i want to fix and i would like to gain some weight i keep saying that it's not working i don't know how to make it work so i'm kind of giving up on that goal but i would like to gain some weight i would like to gain maybe 15 pounds but you know eh, i guess it's not that important and the last question is what i'm looking forward to in the new year so definitely looking forward to my boob job like i just said i'm really looking forward to that i'm very excited about it i'm very ready i'm very sure i'm just like it's happening and i think i'm going to be so happy with the results and what else am i looking forward to i'm looking forward to zaya being in preschool and um, not only for me to have that time at home to be more productive with my work and you know being able to drop her off and then come home and have some of that day to myself to really get things done and not have to rely on my mom so much but also you know I'm happy that she's going so that she can socialize and have fun and learn things and be around other kids and stuff I think it's just going to be a really good thing this year with her being in school and I'm also looking forward to traveling. I hope that I travel. Please hold. But I'm also looking forward to traveling. I, I'm already going to New York soon and also Atlanta, but I also wanna go back to LA. I wanna to go to Miami. I wanna to go to Las Vegas. And I would love to go overseas. I would love to take like a tropical vacation like to the Bahamas or Jamaica or something, but I'd also love to go to the UK. Uh, I don't know if all that's gonna happen this year, but it would be nice to at least do most of that. And yeah, other than that, I'm just really looking forward to, I feel like I feel like since this past year was pretty hard in terms of like my schedule and, you know, balancing being a mom and working and traveling and stuff, I just didn't really have a grip on it. I feel like this year I've learned a lot of lessons and I've fixed a lot of things to where it should be a lot better when it comes to those things, so I am really looking forward to that but yeah guys those are all of the questions and Zaya just woke up so that's gonna be the end of this video I will say that um 2017 it was not a bad year like it really wasn't a bad year a lot of great things happened for me in 2017 I learned a lot of valuable lessons you know gained some new knowledge some new wisdom some new mommy wisdom going into the new year so I feel like going into 2018 I really have a plan for you know anything that didn't go right in 2017 i actually have a plan on how to fix it going into 2018 and i think that's the most important thing you can't just go into a new year thinking that things are going to be different if you're not actually doing anything about it if you don't actually have a plan of action so that's what i'm really like excited about so i hope you guys have a plan of action for your new year too if not i hope this video inspired you to start really thinking about it um so yeah that's really all i have for this video make sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you're not already and we will see you guys in my next one bye <laughs>